Hello and welcome back to another Unity tutorial. In this tutorial you will learn how to create items using descriptable objects. So let's not waste any time and dive right into it. So at first we want to create a script called item so. This script will be our scriptable object which can also create the items for us. So let's jump into the code. We want to remove the mono behavior and add a scriptable object to it. So now we want to make sure that we are aware of what properties our ob scriptal object should have. For example, we could have a string with a name on it. I use it item name. We could also have something like a sprite to it. Item sprite. Maybe we also have something called attack speed or attack power. So this type of scriptable object, for example, could be for weapons. We want to make sure that we can easily create these scriptable objects afterwards. So we create an asset menu for that. And that's it. Press right click here in the project folder, create custom items item. And there it is, there are our items. I call it uh, weapon, weapon, <laughs> get a sprite here, attack speed 4, attack power 6 for example. So this is our basic weapon and that's it. So we want to make sure that our information in the scriptable object is somehow connected to the world, to the scene our player is in. So therefore I just create a cube, I call it uh, cube to pick up and want to make sure that we have rigid body there and also a new class. For example, world item. I like to uh, specify the classes to where they add. So for everything in my game world, I uh, have the prefix world in front of it. So let's get this world item class done. We want to have a serialized field um, where we can drag and drop something into. And what do we want to drag into? correct the item information. So this is for the item SO and this we call item. So let's have a look right here. So this will be a weapon somehow somewhere in some universe. We want to make a function uh, calling it get item name and then we simply return the item name. So in a tutorial before I showed you how to execute some raycast hits and we use this technique to uh, just debug something in our console. So we have this mouse button down and we check hey, if uh, is something hit it. And in this case, we can check if. So what does this function? We check if there is a component uh, with the word item on our game object. And if it's there, the item name gets printed out in our debug logs. So let's check it out if it's working. So we got here a player and or a cube and if I click left to it, the weapon gets spammed right into the console. Nice. So we know this little cube is a weapon. Nice. Yeah, and that's it. This is how you can create items in 3D or in 2D. It doesn't really matter because we just created the way on how to connect the information of the scriptable object to the scene in 3D or in 2D. Thank you really for watching. If uh, you liked the video, then please uh, like the video. If not, then please dislike the video and write me in the comments what you didn't like. If you get improvements or questions, please write me in the comments. And if you do not want to miss any news or updates on these uh, tutorials or on my game Azaria, which I'm doing devlog about, then hit the subscribe button and we see us in the next video. Thank you, bye bye.